The goats are coming. Bethel, Bethel Evangelical Lutheran Church in Brainerd brought in goats to help weed out buckthorn on their property and teach kids about the outdoors. Reporter Hanky Hazelton has more. Overrun with invasive vegetation buckthorn, the Bethlehem Lutheran Creation Care Team is undertaking a project to clean an acre of undeveloped church property. We heard about goats as a good option for uh, removing buckthorn. And so we ended up talking with Brainerd Lakes Goats, it's the local company here, and next thing we know we scheduled it and we found out that the preferred time to have the goats out here is midsummer. Unfortunately, nothing is free and this was going to cost money. We ended up going through a process and getting a grant from our Northeast Synod, Lutheran Church Synod, and it was a thousand dollar grant. Put on the DNR list, buckthorn is a tree with multiple berries. These berries have many seeds that hit the ground and take over land. Goats are very good, up to six feet high, at helping control uh, buckthorn. They don't eradicate or eliminate, but they give that landowner a chance to take back the land that might be overgrown. The goats don't kill, but eat the plant down to the base, leaving some work to be done by the creation care team. We'd have to go back in later on and do some kind of a treatment for the buckthorn itself to, so they don't grow back. The main reason for all of this is to have kids closer to nature. Some of the classes will be on like on pollination and education of uh, our world and what's important to us and what we need to have. I want them to know that they can be outside and still be, be the closest they possibly can to God. Reporting in Brainerd, Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. After property cleanup and site preparation with natural plantings, the church will use its space to open pollinator gardens and hold Sunday Bible learning events. This will also be an opportunity to create nature paths benefiting the local area and schools. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.